many composite gloves here and as you saw in the last video i need to cover lfos there's a number of other things like oh, i kind of covered envelopes and stuff but those are covered in the series lfo though is one of those things let me make sure i haven't covered it no it's not on my list so let's do this so okay let's come over here an lfo is a modulating source it's a low frequency deal so here i have harmer I can go over here to the LFO section and you can see I could turn it on. I have a whole video in Harmer about how to do this. So I just want to give you a quick example. So this is linked up to the volume LFO. As my LFO increases in volume, Harmer will increase in volume. As it goes down, it will go down in volume. And so let me make this a bit faster. I'm going to turn on the master volume so it's not so like ear piercing. And as I adjust the speed, so an LFO is technically anything below 20 hertz, but occasionally, well, like that's just like the term low frequency oscillation. Like you can't hear it. That's the idea. The signal is oscillates so slowly that you can't perceive it as a tone. And so it gets by you, but this is a controller signal. So again, you don't even hear these. They don't come out your speakers. You just hear the results of them. When you speed up an LFO really fast, you get side bands, which are, it's going so fast. It actually creates sub series of harmonics. So think about this. If you've got an LFO oscillating at a rate of 1K, you're going to have a 1K tone generated by, the, in this case, the volume turning off so fast. And this will come with its own harmonic series. This is really a whole nother topic for like, modulation and synthesis i have to write that down uh but yeah so that's an lfo so you see we actually get if you listen carefully you get actually a whole another series gets set up and so when lfos do that that is the basis of frequency modulation um another thing about lfos so this is a controller signal so controller signals like envelopes and things do not have they get sent to control parameters so you never hear them but you can hear the results of them. And some, most days now, most plugins are supporting sample rate controller signals. Controller signals, you know, they were slower, so they didn't need as high a sample rate. Go watch my digital audio series, um, which will be up soon if it's not already up. If not, my DSP basics for now will cover it. And as, as a referral video to that one, then you'll know where to go. But uh, yeah, it used to be supported at a sample rate. I used not to be because they were lower frequency, so you didn't need it. But now they support them at sample rate. So you could have controller signals that are really high, so you could set up sidebands. Because other people are like, well, I never use that. Well, you may, uh, I'd be careful about that one. You may be using it and not even realize it with plugins that have it supported. Like, in frequency modulations, kind of mega important. So that's that. If you have any questions, let me know. Subscribe and have a blessed day. <laughs> We're